Coming come Geek coming to you with a haul video, a foreign comic book haul video mostly. Got these in the mail, wanted to show these off and kind of go over some of the stuff with it. If you want to see what I picked up today, stay tuned for the video. Before I get into showing all this comic book goodness, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as the bell notification. So when videos like this go live and up ever so randomly, you will be one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch it now or later. As long as you watch it, we appreciate you. Also, want to give a shout out to the growing list of YouTube channel members, people who are supporting the channel through YouTube membership also the patreon members if you're interested in joining either one of those uh, deals you can see the links in the video description below also visit gocollect.com for collecting questions posting articles for free and get even more in-depth analysis with a paid-for membership so if i end up not looking at the camera uh, ever so many times in this video please excuse me because i am playing with a new camera and so the monitors over here the cameras here so i got to get used to that uh but uh, I got some uh, books. There is a guy on you, uh, Instagram, Ender Global Comics, and uh, he collects, you guessed it, Global Comics. And so he uh, knows uh, I bought several things from him uh, over the last several months, and he had reached back out to me and said, hey, I've got two of these books coming in if you're interested. And I said I was. So they finally came in. And uh, he said, well, I got these other ones, too. So I went ahead and picked those up. Now, the thing with foreigns are like with any other rabbit hole for collectors out there. And that is that just that it's a rabbit hole. Uh, so I try to limit and maybe do a little bit better job with foreigns than I do with other stuff like pops and action figures, et cetera, et cetera. And that is to just pigeonhole it to key issues. Right. Uh, I, maybe it's because you can't read them. Uh, I, I don't know, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, I've been able to pigeon myself, pigeonhole myself a little bit better with these. So the first off is going to be this, and that's Detective Comics um, three. Is it three seventy three? Whatever issue, the first appearance of Batgirl. Now, with these foreigns, sometimes the covers can be uh, deceiving because there might be a name or a, a picture on the cover, but the inside be totally different. So you need to watch for that if you decide to get into foreigns. I've interviewed um, a couple people on collecting foreign editions, so check that out if you're interested in learning more about that. But uh, in this case, this uh, the book Detective is in here, uh, as is this one, which I'm not familiar with. So this is a Brazilian version of this. And so the thing with the Brazilian versions is they are known for rusty staples. And this one uh, is no exception to that. Now, I'm going to pull it out, kind of show the, uh, the deal there. To be from 1968, which right offhand, I don't remember um, what uh, when the first Batgirl came out. Uh, but to be from 1968 in a foreign country, this is actually in pretty good shape. I mean, it wouldn't be a 9.8 for um, what you would call or what we would call English <laughs> books, right? But uh, with these foreigns, you look less at the... Uh, that the value as uh, the shape it's in and the rarity and how hard it is to get. And so I had a little Coca-Cola advertisement on the back. Now the other interesting thing about this particular one, it also comes with this almanac from 1968. And so uh, I'm assuming there are little Batman stories in here talking about the bat plane. Um, and there's several other, little pictures in here so that's pretty cool it actually has a little stamp uh, right there as well so that was kind of a really cool addition to uh, this particular comic 
is this uh, almanac. It, he got it, came with it, so he sold it with the other deal. So, also got a Spanish version of X Men number one. And there's more than one story in here, but this is, of course, X-Men number one, classic cover, been homage several different times, first appearance of all the people, including Professor X, all the people that are on this cover, including Professor X, who is not pictured here. And this is a Spanish version. I, to, I have, a, of course, an English version of X-Men one, and I've got a couple of uh, homages, but uh, the fast similes and things like that, but I I really I don't know that I have another form of this particular copy. Now, this is an Italian version of New Mutants Annual Number no. 2, which is the first appearance uh, in America of Psylocke, or Captain Britain's sister, who is proved to be a mutant. And this is the Italian version. And like I mentioned earlier there are several different uh, books that are in here it's not just new mutants annual 2 uh, but this one so like the i don't remember when the first batgirl came out but 1968 it had to be around that same time so this is um but this one like right here this one came out uh a few years later and so with these foreign editions um, what's a, what's a reprint? What's not a reprint? It just really depends on your collecting style as it does with English, right? Because some people don't like reprints. Some people do like reprints. Some people only collect certain characters It's collect what you want, right? Two brothers. So it's collect your way and, uh, you know, whatever suits you. And so with these foreign editions with rare exception, basically I get the ones where the cover it matches or is supposed to match the uh, English version and that the story for said book is on the inside. Now the title might be different. Kind of like I have some books that are Spider-Man. They say Spider-Man, but they have an X-Men uh, cover on the cover and it's actually X-Men. Now this is an interesting one. This is the British uh, version of uh, X-Men is it 14 first appearance of the Sentinels check out those curvy hands now this of course says fantastic going back to the name uh, deal but the interesting thing about this is it's got a date on here August the 19th 1967 which is uh, 11 years before my birthday but August 19th is my birthday um, so and for it to be that old it, the colors, it's in really good shape, and the colors really do pop. This is the uh, back of that cover. Got a little Professor X on the back, and it's black and white on the inside. And it has a Thor story as well as the X-Men 14 story uh, in here. Uh, but since this was distributed to various parts of the British, uh, was it considered the British Empire still at that point? Uh, but you got West Africa, Australia, and uh, so I guess the same uh, book, uh, since those were English-speaking areas, sent that over there. So that was really cool. So shout out to him for uh, that. Uh, also, I got picked up a couple of uh, deals. I picked up this uh, Star Wars Black Series. This is the Hunter, right? Yeah, Hunter from Black, uh, Bad Batch. And so pretty cool. Haven't brought myself to open any of these, uh, but it says the Bad Batch, technically known as Clone Force 99, as a result of Kimonian experiments to create a specialist unit to call Commandos Hunter, their leader, is a strong and stoic soldier with extraordinary keen senses that gave him an edge in tracking down his targets. But uh, found this uh, on a random Walmart run the other day. So pretty nice. And I don't think I showed this off. And if I did, just pretend like you didn't see it. Uh, this I got this from GameStop the other day. This is the Imperial Shock Trooper from Battlefront. Again, one of the Black Series. And uh, just really nice packaging. I kind of wondered if I put them up like books. Like books like right here. And, um, of course, with the ones like this, they have the curved side, so you'd have to put them like that, maybe. 
I don't know. We'll see. Leave me a comment down below on what you think about uh, your figures. If you're collecting figures, how do you display them? Uh, do they all come out of the box or do they all stay inside the box? What do you think about the foreign editions? Are you collecting foreign editions? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to smash that like button before you leave this video, as well as hit the subscribe button and bell notification so when videos like this drop randomly in the future, you can know about it and can see it. Also, shout out to our YouTube and Patreon channel members appreciate the support there and visit gocollect.com for all of your collecting questions answered for free. That's right. And if you want even more in-depth analysis on your collection, then you can get it for a small monthly fee. So as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep reading, keep collecting. Adios.